like just yesterday you were in a playoff game in the divisional round, but yet also a long time ago at the same time? Yeah, no, it's been a pretty quick year. Feels like we were just in the playoffs and like we were just in Philly and all that, so it's gone fast. Have you ever met Jordan Love? How familiar are you with his game? Uh, I haven't met him. Um, I know guys that have, um, and everyone respects him. I respect him, obviously, for what he's done and um, just the situation that he's been in, you know, playing behind Aaron for a number of years and um, and then coming in and, and, you know, sort of proving to himself and everybody, like, who he is. So definitely respect his story and his game and everything and, and how he's handled himself. So, yep. Do you think feel different this year, just having had playoff experience last year, having gone through it, and then now having that under your belt going into your second time around? Yeah, um, I feel like it's a little different. You know, just last year, you know, still trying to find my way in a sense. Um, you know, I got thrown in towards the end of the year, and and so every single week I was, you know, still trying to play good and and learn, you know, who I was as a quarterback, and and obviously get more familiar with playing within the system. So. Those are all things that were sort of on my plate last year, and and then um, obviously trying to win every single week and get this team to the to the end. Um, and so now, I guess this year, just being more familiar with the offense, who I am, and all that, um, it's a little, it's a little different. Um, but it's good to sort of you know watch the games from last year and sort of remember you know just the the feeling and the emotions of you know playing in a playoff game. Um, it's it's good. It's, it's you know, huge for me as a quarterback to, you know, go back to those moments and sort of remember what it feels like. So um, those are things that I'm sort of banking on. What did it feel like? Yeah, um, I feel like, you know, the first game was a little bit tense, you know, just in terms of, you know, every play mattered, you know, not trying to turn the ball over. and But at the same time, you know, making plays still and, and winning um, and doing what it takes to win. So um, those were things I sort of had to learn, you know, and watching the film, it's sort of, you know, you get back into that, that feeling of last year and, and the first time in a playoff game. And um, so it's sort of good to remember those kinds of things moving forward, you know, so, sort of under understanding what to expect, you know, for the first playoff game this year for me. At what yeah. point in the game on Sunday did you kind of feel like, okay, we are going to be playing the Packers and start to wrap your head around that? Um, I mean, you never know. You know, at the end, the Cowboys were making a push. Um, and so you never really know. But, you know, after they got up, um, and then the third quarter, they were up pretty big. I was like, okay, I think this is going to probably be the, be the team. But like I said, you never know. And the Cowboys started to come back, and then it was like, all right. <laughs> and so um, you're just watching. And then, you know, obviously the minute the clock's at zero, it's like, all right, let's go. Um, it's going to be the Packers. So um, it, was a, it was a great game to watch. And, um, you know, they came out ready to play against the Cowboys. And, man, did they, pl they played really well. So, um, yeah, I guess third quarter-ish, I started thinking we're going to play the Packers. We watched tape of when the 49ers played in Lambeau a couple years ago in the playoffs. Uh, and do you remember maybe watching it live, I guess, when you were at school? Uh, yeah. All I remember in that game in college was the end, like the, the block punt and all that kind of stuff. It was crazy. But, and it just being really cold. But we've watched a couple of plays and stuff um, from that game and sort of just seeing the, the environment, playoff football in Lambeau with the snow and all that. I mean, what a, what a crazy game. So. Um, but yeah, just the history of these two organizations and the playoff games and stuff, it's pretty cool to, to you know, say that I get to play in, the, in that game now. So I'm excited for it. Kyle said that he worked you, get, worked you pretty hard during the bye week. Uh, what was the process? What kinds of things did you guys work on? Did you feel like it was a productive use of your time? Yeah, it was a, it was a great off week. Um, Obviously, it wasn't like, you know, you're going to have a bunch of days off to just go do whatever you want. Like, it was, you know, we got we came in every day, got good work in. Um, so, obviously, getting after it with the playbook and, and little fundamentals, you know, for myself um, that I need to get better at, you know, that have, that have popped up on film and stuff throughout the year. So, we just want to keep hammering away at those things. Um, and then just getting in that, you know, competitive nature with our defense. So obviously, Fred across on the other side of the ball and, and competing. And um, so, we definitely got some good work in and, um, you know, Kyle and, and Greasy and all those guys pushed us on offense, you know, throughout the week. So um, I thought it was a really productive week. No discount, to your, no discount to your scout team, but how much more do you get out of going up against the ones? Yeah, it's huge. Um, obviously, they fly around. They're really disciplined with their drops and stuff. Um, you got the crazy defensive line that we have, and, and they're pushing the pocket. So you put all those things together, man, it's, it's really good work that you can get out of it. So. 
Um, and then obviously just the, like I said, the competitive nature, you know, you feel your blood starts to pump a little bit when you're going against Dre and Fred and, and Bosa off the edge and, and the secondary that we have. So it's, uh, it's always fun. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, just it being a primetime game, Christmas Day and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we sort of had two really good plays in the beginning of the game and the stadium's feeling it. Everybody's feeling good. Um, and then, boom, you make a mistake. So, like, it's something for me. Um, it's huge to be able to get in that kind of moment and remember those kinds of things for as tough as they were and how bad as I felt after. Um, man, is that kind of stuff, you know, it can help you if you allow it to, um, to go back and watch it on film and be real with yourself about those moments and what it takes to play quarterback at this level and be successful and play consistently and make the right decisions consistently. So um, those are all things that I took account from that game um, that I think I, I got better at. Um, and honestly, we're going to find out, you know, the playoffs coming up and and um, and this game. So, um, yeah, I thought I took some stuff away from it, but at the end of the day, we're going to find out on Sunday it's or Saturday. Four touchdowns at a way higher percentage on your first possession than any other percentage, any other possession in the game. Kyle says he doesn't care one way or the other; he thinks they're all important. But do you feel any different on the first possession? I mean, why, how do you account for the fact that you guys have been so good on scoring touchdowns the first time you get the ball? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that go into that. But I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's football. You know, it's a physical sport. So I mean, we're all juiced up and ready to go um, for the first drive. And um, just our mindset with getting on a team, you know, pretty quickly and and um, doing the little things right um, from the jump. That's a big emphasis that we have here. So that's something I think we've done well. Um, and then obviously our scheme and stuff, the plays that we, we know we're going to call for the first drive, those are all things that you can prepare for. And, and it helps you out as a player. Um, so I think all those things added up together. That's why you've seen us, I think, have success early on. So um, we got to, I mean, honestly, every drive matters, just like Kyle said, man. So is that something that we got to go into the game, say we have to? Like, every game's different. Um, obviously, we won't score every time we touch the ball. But um, yeah. Brock, what do you take away from your sit down with Steve Young? And did you consider that informative or useful in any way? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Um, Obviously, he was sort of, you know, asking me some questions and stuff about, you know, my process, how I think and all that. But, um, you know, he, he had some really good um, just ideas and, and things that he said and, and good perspectives on just the game in general. And so you can tell, obviously, he was successful um, just by the way he thinks and and uh, how he views life and stuff. I think all of that put into one man. That's the reason why he is the way he is. And so to be able to sit down with him, I was very honored. And um yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that he was asking some really good questions, not just the generic stuff. So, um, and then after getting to t be able to talk to him and and uh, just talk about ball and everything, and the fact that he has my back and, and supports me and what I'm doing is pretty cool too. So, it was sweet. How much taller are you? How much taller are you than Steve? Am I taller? I don't even know that. I think you are. Yeah, maybe an inch. I hope so. I don't know. What are your, what are your, what are your thoughts on your younger brother coming to the Bay Area? Assuming he's still coming to San Jose State. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, there was a lot of the whole coaching turnover thing that just happened with, you know, the head coach going to Arizona. So he's going to, you know, sort of just, I don't know. He's feeling it out still. And um, he's got some decisions to make. And I'm, I'm really excited for him and happy for him either way. So, but yeah, if he can be in the Bay, that'd be pretty sweet. I'm my brother here. Green Bay's defense had a couple interceptions against Dallas. They, they didn't really have too many in the regular season. Did they show anything differently uh, in how they played Dallas or maybe played more aggressively? What, what did you see in that department? Um, yeah, I mean, I think there were just some really good plays made by their DBs. Um, you know, Jair Alexander with his ball instincts on, on his one um, uh, interception. And then number 26, Savage coming down and, and making a good read on Dak and jumping a slant. Um, I think, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, say anything on their behalf, but I mean, it looks like it's playoff football, man. They're they're aggressive in what they're doing. And, and when they see an opportunity, they're willing to, like I said, be aggressive and take it. So those are all things that I think we have to take account. And for myself, you know, obviously with the ball in my hands every play. So 
they're guys that can make plays, and I have to understand that. So um, it's going to be a really good challenge. Sitting out week 18, how excited or how much are you itching to just actually get back out there and to gain action? Yeah. Um, I mean, it was weird, you know, seeing the whole team and all my guys, you know, dressed out, warming up for the game and stuff. And I was like, man, I wish, you know, I was able to, to do it with them and stuff. So um, I'm glad, honestly, that we, we were able to get through that. And, not, and I was able to practice with them this week. And I'm playing this week. So I'm really excited about that. But it definitely was an itch for sure. Um, but at the same time, being able to see the other guys get opportunities to go in and play was huge. And, and uh, watch them play it was, it was sweet. So, but definitely ready for, for this one. Did you lean on? You said you guys have had, will have animated sideline conversations. I mean, not like screaming at each other or anything, but, you know, it, it's tense and tight and trying to figure out what the next step is or you know, how to adjust. You, I guess, what are those like, and do they get, I don't know, heated is the right word, but uh, what are the exchanges like during the heat of a game? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we want to win, and we're competitors at heart. He played this position. Um, he played it well, and so he gets it. And, um, you know, we're obviously very hard on ourselves at the quarterback position, and we have a standard that we have here. And um, whenever I'm not playing at a level that I should be, he's the first to tell me, which I love. And, uh, you know, as a quarterback, I want a coach who's real and, and holds a standard and um, doesn't allow any, you know, room for error and, and doesn't um, have any slack on us. Like, I. If that were the case, man, I don't think I'd be playing good football. You know, I wouldn't be able to play at my my full potential. And he helps me get to that and, and centers me back on the mindset that we need to have. And honestly, he lights a fire, you know, in me um, throughout the game, too, and reminds me of, you know, the competitive uh, nature that we need to have, even though we're quarterbacks and stuff. Like, we're the guys that can bring the juice to the offense. And so he's uh, he's done that a lot throughout the year. And um, I respect that a lot from him. So um, anytime there's some animation on the sideline, between us, it's, I think, a good thing, too. So. Out last week, did you and Christian lean on each other? It seemed like you both had that mentality of, like, really, really wanting to play, but you knew that you couldn't. I mean, did you guys lean on each other during that? From uh, week 18, you're talking about? Yeah. Um, I mean, we – yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think, you know, we, we had talked about it throughout the week and stuff, and obviously we understand what our end – what the end goal is and, and the big picture of things. and. So um, for him, obviously getting his body healthy and right, and then obviously keeping me healthy going into playoffs as well was huge. So um, those are things we both understood, and we both hammered away at you know the little things throughout the week. Um, obviously, he came back looking great, you know, at practice and stuff. So, um, but that's that's a professional right there. You know, you understand what we're trying to do. Um, obviously, we understood we had the first seed locked up, and and um, to go out and play for our team would, was awesome. Every every opportunity we get, but. At the same time, we both understand that we have to be healthy, you know, going into playoffs. And so having his uh, advice and help throughout that time was huge, too. And um, but we're both excited to obviously get through that and be healthy for this game. So we're excited for the opportunity. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.